Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Woohoo! Yes, it is dark. It is December. There the sun is way down, so we've got all the lights on in the house that we can turn on. So hopefully this won't be too horrible. But as you can see, we have an Ami Ami box in front of us. And it's not super giant. Because there's only one figure in here. And it is a fluffy, fluffy figure. Oh yes, yeah, gotta have the fluff. But my November haul was supposed to be four figures. Only one got released. We're not counting the Mika Mika haul because that was just a birthday haul and only for the birthday. But yeah, let's get this open. I have a bunch of figures pulled out for comparison, so you may be able to tell who it is just by that little bit of blue over here. I mean, obviously, you know who it is because you're going to see the thumbnail and the title and everything. So, But I can still make believe in my own head that you don't know who it is yet. So we got Amiko on the thank you card. And she's got a little mini Amiko. And she's a magical girl with a little magical girl wand. Yay! And there she is on the back, too. So we'll put that off to the side. And we'll see paper. We'll pull the paper out. And we start off with the bonus item. Yes, we have Kaga and her bikini. So this was a little bonus acrylic strap. I forget how much more it made the figure cost, but it is what it is. I got the one for Akagi, so I've got to get the one for Kaga. And then we have Kaga herself. She is quite securely packaged. There we go. Get the box out of the way. And there she is. Isn't she just lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Oh yes. Not that you can see her through the tissue paper. So let's remedy that situation now. And there we go. So yes, this is Kaga. The Tokunatsu no Seshoseki version, or Everlasting Killing Stone. She is from Azure Lane. Uh, she is a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Wave. And Kaga was released on November 26th of 2019. Now when I say released, I mean Wave sent her out to the stores. <laughs> so it was a couple days. She showed up and finally I got charged on the 28th. She shipped out on the 29th. And I just got her today on the 3rd of December. Uh, for Kaga, brand new at Amiami, plus her bonus charm, I paid 14,100 yen, or $134.39. And since she was the only one that shipped, I can tell you the shipping was 3,380 yen for EMS to the United States. So yay. So anyways, there's the front of Kaga's box. There is the side of Kaga's box with a nice big zoomed in shot of her. There's the back with the zoomed in shot and a shot of her bikini bottoms. And a shot of her kind of from the back corner. Uh, top of the box, plain boring, got a big window. And bottom of the box is even more plain boring. And I do have, for comparisons, we've got Kotobuki as 17th Kaga. We've got the bikini Akagi, and just for the hell of it, because we need more fluff, we've got Kodo's Akagi as well. So, but our the main star of the show today is this one, the bikini Kaga. So let's go ahead and get her open. Typical three seals. So. We can see right here, this is part of Wave's Dream Tech line, Shape Your Dream. So yeah, I don't have the highest hopes because Wave isn't always the greatest company, but Akagi turned out pretty good, so I hope they followed through with Kaga as well. So inside of the box, you have the Sakura Empire logo and a blue background. So we'll put that off to the side now. And... There is Kaga in her blister packaging. So, so far, looks pretty cute. Looks decent enough. 
Uh, there is a, another separate back or blister for her tail for all the fluff. Very similar to Akagi, believe it or not. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? So anyways, there she was in the blister packaging. Let's start getting this open so that we can start looking at the fluff. So we'll put her off to the side. And of course, we've got to start with the fluff. Uh, and it is still taped even more. Tape is good for sealing things. Tape is the enemy of unboxing, though. Okay, here we go. There's that. And there is the fluff. Put that off to the side again. And here we go. So it's kind of a metallic gray, kind of. It's supposed to be white. It's a... It is white, but it does feel grayish. Uh, the tips are a tiny bit translucent, so I'm sure that plays into the fact. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tails. Oh yeah. And like Akagi, she's got two pegs that stab into her butt, so unfortunately we're going to have some butt holes. Well, maybe not, unfortunately, but you, you get the idea. But there is the fluff, nice and shiny. And like I said, it's kind of metallic looking. So now we'll get the main blister. Make some noise opening it. Come on. These last two just do not want to release. Let me, there we go. It's a very secure blister. So we'll go ahead and pull out her base. And you're going to hear a lot of comparisons to Kagi because they're sisters and they're very similar. It's her uh, flight deck. The blue, you know, magical flight deck with the flames on the side. And a little bit of transparent plastic and a nice uh, sculpted blue rim. She does have a metal peg that she stands on with a little plastic support as well. Uh, flip it to the back. Made in China. Copyright 2017. Manju Corporation Limited. Yongxi Corporation Limited. All rights reserved. And Yostar Incorporated. All rights reserved. Lots of copyrights. So there's the base. And then we have Kaga. So we'll put the blister and some plastic off to the side. Okay, so she's got plastic wrapped around her waist. And actually, nope. It's like uh, you have to disassemble her. So I'm going to pop her head off because it is on a ball joint. If you wanted, you could swap the Kagi and Kaga's heads. Why you would want to do that, I don't know. I'm going to separate her at the chest. Take off the plastic there, and then take off her parasol, or sarong, or whatever it's called. And unwrap the plastic, and there she is, all the plastic. Not that you can see her. So, let's start with her head. So there is Kaga's face. Her mouth is open. She's not really smiling, but she's not scowling either. One thing about the Sakura carriers, the foxes that I really like, is... Their eye makeup. It's got very piercing blue eyes, and then that little bit of red makeup on the corner just looks great. Um, similar to her tails, the hair is kind of that shiny metallic pearlescent paint. Uh, she does have some floofs in her big giant fox ears, and she is also having a fox mask hooked around her ear. It is like permanently attached to her hair, though, so you can't remove it. Uh, nice, uh, nice to find nose. She does have short hair. Looking at the bottom, you can see how thick it is. Nicely sculpted. Top is just a uh, smooth. Yeah, it's just smooth. Put that off to the side. Uh, we'll pull up her sarong or whatever it's called. It's blue. It's translucent. It is flexible, like rubber, rubber plastic. Uh, you can see the booty. 
it is even more transparent because it's supposed to be stretched and wet and you know clinging to her booty it is very form-fitting and these figures I do prefer to have this on them so it is what it is I got nice booties and all but I think they look better with that on so here is her upper torso uh, we can see the, the tendons in her neck and you can see her collarbone she is kind of holding her hand up to her chin. Uh, fingers down uh, before the first knuckle, they are one piece, but then they break out into individual fingers. They are very dainty, and they've got nice little fingernail polish on them. On the bottom, you can see, you know, lifelines and everything. There is her other hand. Again, dainty painted fingernails, ring finger and middle finger are glued together in the pose you will always notice. The index finger is in a pose as well. You can see through it. <laughs> and nice uh, detail on the bottom. And detail in the wrist even. Uh, you can see her the start of her spine line as well as her shoulder blades on the back. And you can see that the bikini top is very tight. And that's just hiding all the seams or all the pieces go together. Uh, she also has quite a large chest. Boobs, they're stuck together. It doesn't really look to be a weld line, just stuck together line, but it's most likely welded. Uh, you can see some folds in her armpit, nice little detail there. She is wearing a little scrunchie around her wrist. And now for, there were a couple of pictures posted by Moyo today. So from this angle, it really looked kind of bad, but yeah, it looks okay to me to my eye now. So you can see a very tiny bit of under boob peeking out be from the bottom of the bikini top. You're not going to normally see that. A nice little blue bow, and you can see the strappy straps, and paint looks pretty clean. So um, if she looks yellow... I apologize. She she is not yellow to the eye. It's just the lights I have. It is what it is. And then we have her lower body and lo lower torso. So she has a little bit of pudge to her. I mean, when I call this pudge, you know how anime has desensitized me. This is a very fit girl. <laughs> I mean, you got her rib cages and you got her hip bones. It's not pudge, but it's curvy, yes. Very nice, deep, well-defined belly button. A nice oval shape. Uh, the back. Again, you get a very nice long spine line going all the way into her butt crack. And you got the little folds on her side where she's like bending over a little bit, tilting. Uh, you got a hole cut out in her bikini bottoms. This is... Technically, probably where the tails are supposed to go through, but since they split it into two pegs, you got the pegs on either side of it. Um, nice, long, long, luscious legs. Good, good kneecaps on them. You got the sculpting around it on the back. You got the, again, all the muscles and tendons behind the knees. Got a nice uh, heel and a little bit of ankle bone showing. So there is where the uh, base kind of pegs in so to hold her steady. Uh, toes are all one piece, but they do have the tips like serrated out. But the top, you can see they have taken the effort to sculpt the toes and paint them as well. And on the back foot as well. And then we've got a very tight, you can see it's digging into her hips, bikini bottom. It is white, like with grayish highlights and everything. Uh, she does have a bit of a camel toe. It's nowhere near as pronounced as it was in the prototype pictures, which in my opinion is a good thing. And then you got the crotch shot, and you can see again just how tight it is. Very similar to her sister Akagi, where you get, you know, the labia is just eating it. It's basically a string going down her the slit of the vagina. Or, you know, the lips. And yeah, it's sticking in her, into her butt. 
and it is a very tight bikini bottom. So let's get her assembled without the Paris or the strong or whatever it's called. And then we'll do a look at it and see how she is. So since her neck is a ball joint, you can twist her head around. You know, have her in a little couple different poses. But it's intended that she's like touching her chin. Then we'll put the face into her foot. Hmm. This may prove to be challenging. And I just noticed uh, this piece here spins around, so you can kind of line her up however you, however you want on the base. There we go. It's a very small hole that you got to get that peg into. <laughs> Bring this closer. Oh, and we forgot uh, the all-important fluff, but before we put it in there, there she is from the back without her tails. So let's go ahead and remember they're supposed to point up. Let's get this into her butt. Very tight fit. I'm not going to shove it all the way in because I will have to remove them. And there is Kaga assembled without her sarong. Pareo, whatever it's called. We'll do a nice little spin around. She is, for a 1 8 scale, yes, she is more of a 1 7th in my opinion. Maybe with a small head, but yeah. But she is very curvy, very, I, I want to say squishy, but that gives the wrong impression because she is hard plastic, but the flesh just looks squeezable. Mm -hmm. Looks yummy. So, yeah, looks pretty dang good. So now we'll go ahead and take her tails off again and take her torso off. There we go. And we'll put this on. Because like I said, I actually do prefer them with this. Other figures, not so much, but these ones, the bottoms are just too small in my opinion. But, well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put the tail back in. with pressure and stab my hand with the tips of the tail. That hurt. And then we'll go ahead and put her body back on. Maybe. There we go. And there is Kaga completely assembled and how I shall display her. So we'll do a spin around like this. Nope, she's not completely assembled. There we go. That's a little bit better. She was misaligned. So yeah, she is definitely a cutie. And if you play as their lane and you like the foxes, she is basically a must-buy. Little on the expensive side, yes, but hey, you gotta have it. If you're buying skins, you can buy a figure. <laughs> so, comparison time. We'll start with... Akagi, the bikini version. And maybe focus on them. Yes. Wow, Akagi really looks shallow. <laughs> but you can see they're definitely similar body styles, similar shape, similar size. Height is the same, basically. And they both have nine fluffy tails. As we can see from the back shot. Yes. 18 fluffy tails. And you, at least I can kind of see the, you know, flesh showing through the very thin, thinly painted parts of the sarong. Uh, we can see they're kind of in mirror poses, at least feet wise. So the little strap is on opposite feet, and the one that they're pegged in is on opposite feet. So yay. Gotta love the bikini foxes. So we'll put her back off to the side. 
and we'll pull up Kotobukiya's 1 7 scale version of her. And this is her completely like in her battle outfit and battle gear. Again, 1 7th, but a very large 1 7th in my opinion, probably closer to 1 6th. It could just be that the foxes are tall. Um, so of the two Kotobukiya ones, I actually do like the way Kaga looks better. I think just think the colors work a little bit better and the hair looks a little better. So I'll have to think about the bikini ones. I am kind of leaning towards Kaga again. Also, Kaga's neck is nowhere near as long as uh, Kagi's. <laughs> but anyways, enough of that. These two, comparing them, uh, similar faces. Uh, Kodu Bukia's has more of a pointed chin, like longer face, while hers is more of a rounded face. Both have very large boobs and long, luscious legs. They both have the fox mask. Uh, this one, you can see the eyes are solid, while this one, the eyes are hollow. And it's a much more pointy nose and ears and everything. And it does have a little bit more paint details. So I don't know the, which one it is supposed to be, which fox mask is the best. But anyways, it's been around again. So that, again, we can have 18 fluffy tails. And then, the whole reason I brought out the other Akagi as well is so that we can do this, and do this, and do this, and this. And yes, in this shot, there are 36 fluffy tails. Gotta love it. Gotta love all the fluff. Gotta love the fluff. But anyways, star of the show, Kaga, bikini version. The Tokunatsu no Seisho, Seishoseki version, or the Everlasting Killing Stone. Uh, she is from Azure Lane. She is a carrier. She is super rare. You can only get her on 3-4. You will be in the mines forever if you are anything like me. She is a 1-8 scale figure. Manufactured by Wave, she is a little bit wobbly, as we can see moving her around. But she does have a metal peg, so it should be okay. Uh, so Kaga released on November 26th of 2019. Uh, I ordered her immediately when she went up. Like, immediately. Uh, on, November, on September 12th of 2019. Paid on the 28th. Shipped on the 29th. Arrived on the 3rd of December. And for Kaga, and... Her acrylic strap, I pay 14,100 yen or $134.39. So, gotta love all the fluff. Spin them back around so we can see all the faces. It's kind of nice how they're, yeah, so we can see all the faces and then I look at the screen. But it's kind of nice how they're opposite in the versions. And there goes Akagi's planes. But, you know, Kaga and Akagi, Akagi and Kaga. Anyways, I'm rambling. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.